Peace and love, family. Welcome to another Black African Power Lecture Series. Tonight, we're doing part two. We're doing part two with brother Bobby Onk West. Last night, he came on family and discussed you know, the flat earth theory. And he's right. And I agree hundred percent with brother Ankh when he said, let's not even call it a theory, right? He calls it the flat, flat, right? So he was like, you know, cause you know, exactly. It doesn't qualify. It's not a scientific theory. And we got to get into the habit of using correct language around here. Right. And so anyway, he came on uh, last night and talked about uh, the whole notion of the earth um, being flat and how ridiculous it is. And, and talked about the importance of scientific literacy, right? Um, for black folks, but really for all human beings, right? Like it's important for us to be scientifically literate. I think a lot of issues uh, that we have in our community, we wouldn't have if, the, if we were dealing with a, a population of people that were uh, scientific, scientifically literate, right? A lot of issues. And Brother Ankh, even towards the end of the, um, the discussion, he talked about how um, there's a high correlation, you know, between uh, the illiteracy rate and the imprisonment rate. And so, you know, I appreciate him last night for coming on and dropping all of this good information. So family, if you did not watch it, if you did not watch it last night, make sure that you go back and that you that you check it out. It was definitely fire. Tonight, Brother Aunt will be discussing evolution. And I remember family when he first came out, like when he first started like really promoting evolution heavy in the community. As Brother Aunt always said, you threw tomatoes at him, right? Uh, you know, he became known as as the monkey man. And, and you know, he never, ever said human beings um, evolved from monkeys. We come from monkeys. He never said that. He, I mean, he kept saying it over and over again. And I didn't understand what part folks didn't understand. He said that we have a common ancestor, you know, and he talked about how when you look at when scientists compared our DNA to the DNA, you know, of uh, chimpanzees. And Brother Anka, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember him saying that, you know, the similarity was like in the 90s, you know what I mean? I think 99 point something percent or 98 point something percent, like it was crazy, right? And so it was a clear indication that we, we come from a common ancestor. But I understand, as Brother Anka always says, a lot of us, you know, have been uh, you know, brought up in the Christian faith and Islamic faith. So we want to think that when, you know, we want to believe that there was a, a deity that, you know, created man and woman and whew, went like this and then everybody just popped up. So we have those beliefs, you know, no matter how conscious and woke and enlightened that we claim to be, we're still very religious in our thinking. So anyway, tonight he's going to be talking about evol evolution as being the key or a major key, right? to understanding our origins of who we are, because a lot of those, we have those questions, right? As human beings, who am I, right? And man tried their best um, to answer those questions. You know, even with the creation story, if you go and you study all different cultures, right? A lot of cultures have creation stories. Old brother Uncle always says cosmologies, right? Where you try to figure out the origins of the earth, right? The, the origins of man, where did it all start, right? And so brother Uncle is saying, hey, you know, and even scientists are saying, hey, we have the, the evolutionary thing. We have theories that explain this stuff. But again, a lot of us reject these things because of our religious thinking. So anyway, I know tonight is going to be a powerful discussion. Family, make sure that as you come in, you thumb up the video. I see a number of you coming in. Peace to Omar Reed. Peace to a beautiful mind. Peace to Hot Spot Casino. He said, here we go. And then I have brother, I think Omar, Omar Reed again. I see your comment peace and love to you. Appreciate your words. I see 504 top level. Peace and love to you, beloved. I see Mika's in the building and I see peace and love is in the building. So family, as you come in, make sure that you thumb up the video. Also share this video. Uh, each one teach one, right? And we know that in the 21st century, right? In 2023, each one teach one is just sharing it on your social media pages. And also family, text the link. Text the link to this discussion. Text the link to a couple of friends and say, come on and, you know, come on in here and get this good old knowledge for a little bit. All right. So text it. And also, family, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, be sure to hit the notification bell when you do so. Whenever I go live, you will be notified. Also, family, let me stop sharing and reshare. Also, family, hold on. want to show you this other flyer. Here it is, family. I really want you all to come to Ghana with me. And so I'm going to Ghana with Insa Creations Explorations. And when I say that we're staying in top-notch hotels that are owned by Ghanaians, not by the white folks we're trying to 
move away from. No, I'm just I'm just playing, guys. But it, it's all owned by Ghanaians, right? And so make sure, family, that you come to Ghana with me. We're going to be traveling to different places, Accra, Kumasi, um, Asimanso. We're going to go to Cape Coast and go through the dungeons, go to the museums, eat the food, really drink the culture. So, family, make sure that you come through with your sister, Dr. Ma'at. If you are interested in going, make sure that you email INSA, A N S A A creation at, and I'm typing this in the chat as we speak, at gmail.com. All right, family. So make sure that you email her. Let her know, hey, I'm trying to roll with Dr. Ma'at. Uh, the total price is $4,500. We're leaving on March the 15th, and we will be returning on March the 26th. So make sure, family, that you're in the building, all right, for the, this Ghana exploration trip. All right, $500 deposit, and you just pay the rest as you go. All right, and last but not least, family, you know I got to plug Conscious Ingenuity. You know I had to plug Conscious Ingenuity. Make sure that you sign your child up for, for con I'm sorry, I said Conscious Ingenuity. And I meant to say the UACI camp. <laughs> My apologies. Because the conscious ingenuity in the UA, I'm sorry, conscious ingenuity is with the UA, UACI camp. So I'm sorry, family. In my brain, I was just like, I need to promote the camp. I need to promote the camp. And then I thought about conscious ingenuity. But the Ohuru Academy, and shout out to Baba Amin and his beautiful wife, Mama and Koyo, um, they founded a school called the Ohuru Academy. And the Ohuru Academy and Conscious Ingenuity teamed up to present and to give our children a beautiful summer STEM camp camp. Uh, experience. And we started last year. We we ironed out the nooks and the crannies. And so we're back again this year uh, with a wonderful uh, STEM camp for our babies. Uh, so you see, Bob, I mean, and myself, we are serving as, you know, really the primary instructors for this camp. However, he's going to have Brother Sean Gales. He's coming and he's teaching. I have two of my students from uh, Morgan State University. They're coming and they're teaching. And so anyway, family, it's going to be a beautiful experience uh, during the first half of the of the day, the students will be learning about our history, our contributions to the establishment and the expansion of, of STEM, right? Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And then after that, the students will take a quick break and then they'll be back with me for about one and a half to two hours and they'll get a STEM lesson or engineering lesson. Uh, the first week, our focus is going to be cybersecurity. The sec second week, our focus will be uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. All right. And so family, the, the camp is going to start on July the 10th and operate until July the 21st. Uh, after this Monday, we will not be taking any more students or any more enrollees. So make sure, family, that you get your child enrolled. ASAP, because this week we will be sending out supplies. Each student will walk away with a Google Chromebook and also a Microbit mini computer, as well as a T-shirt and other items that they will need to complete this camp. All right, family, that's all the announcements that I have. Without further ado, I'm going to bring Brother Anka Cat on. Peace and love to you, Brother Anka Cat. How are you? You got to um, you got to unmute, Brother Anka. We're in the game. We're in the game. Peace and love to you, warrior. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I never been a warrior. I always been like a like a chief or or, or what they want to call a shot caller. Chiefs mm. are warriors. Chief, chiefs yeah. are warriors. You say I'm not, not a soldier. You say I'm not a soldier. I say same thing I, to me. But, yeah, but same thing warrior, to me. Nah, I debate you on that. Mm. Mm. I debate same you thing. on that. I did. Nah, nah. Warrior and soldier are not the same thing. They're expendable. Nah. Chief, chiefs are warriors. <laughs> Chiefs are warriors. Chiefs are warriors. Yeah. Some of them fight. Some of them they do fight. So I'm not gonna act like a chief. I ain't doing you, no fight. No one would be. No one would be no chief of mine if they ain't getting their hands dirty. That's all I'm saying. You wouldn't be no. You wouldn't be a leader. You wouldn't be a leader, Doctor Maat, or, or or a chief in my village if you can't get your hands dirty. You just want to sit back and tell everybody else what to do. That wouldn't work over here. Not in my village. It may not work in somebody village. else's village. Yeah, it may work in somebody else's village though. But it wouldn't work in my village. You got to get your hands dirty if you wanna. If you wanna. You know, if you want to call some shots over here, you got to get your hands dirty. But you know, my favorite, my my favorite chief is in Zynga. She wasn't running around killing a body. Oh, yes, she was. She fought. <laughs> like she, you I ain't like saying she I ain't going to be on the battlefield, but I'm saying <laughs> a lucky shot take you out of there. You're like, oh, man, the brains of the operation is gone. No, oh. I understand. <laughs> 
Oh man. Save the brains. But brother, but look, check this out. What's check up? this out. Mm -hmm. I want you to talk about your journey really quickly because you were the monkey man. Remember when you talked about evolution? And you got you got clown like you got drug. Oh hell no! You saying he can't like they were they were throwing so many ad hominems and mm -hmm. and at you and and you're the monkey man and you're saying that we come from apes and you were like I've never said that like science doesn't even say that you know. But tell us about that. When when did you decide that the community was ready for this? Now you you know you brought up Dr. Ben and you said Dr. Ben was teaching that. But there was a period, brother, aunt, where you no longer heard about evolution in the community until you started talking about it again. So can you tell me why? Why did you decide to, you know, say, hold on, let's let me reintroduce this concept right to the community. And, and you know, so what made you do that? Uh, basically, the, the, the issue was uh, going through the situation, uh, a cult. cults are, are shrouded in misinformation. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And everything about the cult don't got to be negative. That's another misconception. Right. So you can have things that that that, that aren't uh, out of order that you could be in, but still be filled with misinformation and nobody can actually challenge that. Right. Right. And so once I got out that situation, I was like, man, I can't be in that situation. no more. I need to be able to find something that could actually allow me to uh, stop that. What I learned was it was science. I'm being educated in matters of science. And once I got that, I recognized that science and scientific literacy was a vaccine against the charlatans. So I wouldn't have never spent time in that situation if I, if I just had resources to go to. So I felt like, let me give the community the resource to go to. And 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 we've all talked about proudly with our chest I got, we the oldest on the planet Earth, black people. I remember that mantra, right? Uh, we come from Africa. I remember that mantra. Mm. And that I was wondering, well, then how do you prove that? Sound mm -hmm. good. We the oldest that ever walked upright. Europeans was in the cave. I heard all that. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, we, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I rocked that out. Went to the Shrine of Black Madonna. I was trying to put together a class. And at that point, I was just getting out of New Wapi. You know, and so we, you know, we put together at the Shrine of Black Madonna to get a class. So I had to join the church. That's the only way that I could help put together the class at the Shrine of Black Madonna is mm -hmm. join the church. So I stood up and joined the church and all that. And, you know, from that, you get discounts from bookstores and all, and all that. Wow. Good that. Yeah, because they got the bookstore down there. So I'm like, I don't care. I'll take one for the team. <laughs> Do that. Get in the class, you know, just like everybody else, shrouding pseudoisms, thinking I'm knowing this. So I'm trying to explain this original African or, or original uh, humans. And I'm and, and separating myself from the rest of humanity because that's the thing. Our, our running theme is that white people are different, right? They character, yeah, right. they attitudes, their behavior are just different. I mean, we all raised on that. We got it honestly, right? So I was trying to figure out a way to, you know, make humans come from the water. You know, which is typical, right? You know, all life starts in the water. All life starts in the womb. All these things I had in place, right? Mm -hmm. And. Kazende, I never forget it. Olatunje, my father Olatunje. He was like, "That's wrong." I was like, "What you talking about?" Now I'm loud. Same guy, loud. Same, same but, guy. But, but wrong though. Wrong. Pseudo as hell. Just coming out the Malachi York thing, thinking I got this thing down pat. Know how to ask the question to throw you off. All these things in play, Doc. I was like, "What? We don't come. What? What? We ain't, what? White people ain't ain't ain't, ain't like us." He was like, "Okay." He said, don't you read Dr. Ben's in them books? I said, yeah, I read Dr. Ben's in them books. I read all that. I had, you know, I got the library. Oh, I already know. You know, I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, this is what I got. I had this one, right? And this is, <laughs> this is funny. You know, I got this one, got this, and I got Black Man and Now in this family. So I got Africa, the mother of Western civilization by Dr. Ben. Then we got a Black Man and the Now in this family. The blue edition. Where that's at? And we got this. All right, I haven't really got off into this one yet. John yeah, you Jackson. told me you told me to get that one. I got it, but I didn't. I didn't read it yet either. Okay, okay. So, I'm I'm beat my chest. They was like, all right, well, we're gonna do this in real time. I didn't get the break that everybody else got. Man, I had to do this in front of the class. So I'm getting up there. I'm uh, never forget. I gotta find the video footage. And I'm I'm trying. I'm I'm hitting it. And every week I'm coming back and coming back. And they was like, yo, the, the resources. Is gonna is gonna wear you down over time. You claim to have read the book, 
have you read this chapter? Have you read that chapter? I'm like, what? This is Dr. Ben, I know it. Mm. And I never forget it. I'm teaching, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm jamming. Like most people think they rocking. And it was a sister, older sister. She was like, so um, what's your problem with monkeys and chimpanzees? Mm. Mm. She said in African culture, we did fight everything. Mm. What's your issue with that? See, that's part of being African. But brother, Uncle, all this is in the shrine of the Black Madonna. Yeah, shrine of the Black Madonna. Wow, yep. wow. Go ahead, so brother. I was like, you know how sometimes a person hits you with a question to make you think? Right. But she, but she caught me, she caught me in real time. Wow, I was like, oh. I was like, I don't have a problem with it. And then at that point, I knew that I really needed to get into the books that I, I was reading around the book. See, mm. you can read around the books, right? The things you don't understand, you just... You, you you see it, you read it, but you don't take it for, you don't get it. And so I, I went back in the work, I shut my mouth up and mm. I went back in the work. And when I went back in the work, right? I wanted to prove that we actually came from Africa because then I was getting close to science and, and, and it was based off of proof and verif verifiability and all these things. I say, man, let me see. So I, I opened up the book and it revealed itself, right? Mm. And and I start to realize that it's chronology that I'm missing. How to put things in proper chronology. And so in this book, the contents, it goes with, um, let me see, the prelude chapter. Wait a minute. Hold on. Where is it? One second. All right, hold on. Let me do this one. Let me do the black man and all his family. This came recommended with Professor James Smalls. <laughs> He's like, mm -hmm. read that. So people ask, would you recommend people to read that again? First, I would say, nah, I don't read it first. Wait, wait. So yeah, right here in the black man now he had the in and uh in this one, uh Africa, the mother of Western civilization, he he hand typed it. All right, so this was easy to see right here. So you go to the first chapter, it says, Who were all the Africans? Read that. It's a prehistory African Homo sapiens. Hmm. So when I read it, I run across Charles Darwin. I was like, really? So he mentioned Charles Darwin in the text. Yeah, in the text. And okay. both of them. He talked about he called him Sir Charles Darwin. Okay. Oh, he's big enough white people now. That's what ran across my head, ignorantly, <laughs> right? See, you should never look at a person color and think you understand a level of education, because that's the exact same thing that got uh close to 13 million Africans enslaved. It was Europeans that looked at them and say, based off the color of your skin, you're ignorant. You're behind and you come from monkeys. Okay. So I'm reading this work and then I realized, well, the only way to actually verify that we the oldest on the planet is through evolution because evolution is going to actually show you fossils. Mm. They call it paleoarchaeology. Study of humans, hominids, right? And I realized that the oldest such bones was found in Africa, but but not particularly Homo sapiens sapiens. I had to learn those terms, right? But things that pre pre you know preceded that. Right. So I looked up the out of Africa theory. Now I got Charles Darwin in my head. I looked up the out of Africa theory, and this is what I came. Let me show y'all something real quick. All right. It's always been here. Y'all can see this. The, the, the recent uh, African origin of modern humans, right? Yep. And then you would come down to here. Uh, the, the history of the theory, I'm like, all right. Okay. You come down to here, classical paleoanthropology. Okay. It says uh, the cladistic relationship of humans with the African apes. I was like, the what? and suggested by Charles Darwin after studying the behavior of African apes, one of which was displayed in London, London Zoo. So I was like, what? what? Okay, so at this point, I'm where everybody else is at, right? I say Charles Darwin, why, why is Charles Darwin so important? Come down here, it says, in the descent of man, Darwin speculated that humans had descended from apes which still are small brain, but walked upright, freeing their hands uh, for, for usage, which favored 
intelligence. He thought such apes were African. I was like, what? All right. I see the out of Africa theory. I always praise that we was first when we come from Africa. Now I'm saying this thing they're talking about migrating out of Africa. I see that. Migrating out of Africa. That's how we can tell where we started at. And then I get on this one. Man, God, and civilization. I see the word man is first. I say, why would he put the word man first? Then God and civilization. I was like, that's interesting. Why would that man put that first? And I, then I realized that man comes before God. Mm. Because it's man that has to speak about God. But this is a revelation to those who just can't see it. And I, and I ain't tripping off that. But, but I'm showing you what I saw, right? And once again, we open up the chapter again. I say, why is everybody always starting off with chapter two? Chapter one. All right. Chapter one is the early ages of the world. So I, I, you, once again, he's talking about chronology. Then chapter two, the factors and evidence for evolution. I was like, what? Wow. Evolution. We back on the evolution thing again. So I'm reading through it. And hold on. First thing he says is this, because you ain't going to tell me I'm not properly educated. I thought I was, you know, educated. Baltimore, Maryland, went to good schools. Right. right? I was like, what? It says no properly educated person denies the reality of the evolutionary process. Although there is considerable disagreement amongst the authorities as to the presence or, uh, or, or cautious of ev causation of evolution, on the fact of evolution, there's no uh, dissent. I was like, man, okay, well, okay, get to it. And I come to the right here. Watch this. I come to this part right here. And this is the part that got me. Hold on. Because I was like, man, I don't come for no daggone monkeys. You know, that's the saying. I don't, I don't come for no monkeys. Hold on. Let me get the chapter three one quick. Over fast. Hold on. Let me get the page right here. Uh, 28. Watch this. Mythbusters. All right, so I'm in chat. I want to read chapter three. It's called Ice Ages and Men. I thought they was going to talk about, you know, the Ice Ages and Men. Mm -hmm. And you come to page 29, okay? No, page 28. Let me get here. It says, in 1871, Darwin's Descent of Man was published. And in this book, impressive evidence was deduced, tending to show that man and anthropoid apes could be traced back to a common ancestor. Most of Darwin's contemporaries judged the continent of Asia to be the most likely be the birthplace of humanity. But Darwin held that Africa had a better claim to the title of the cradle of mankind. I was like, man, that's Darwin saying that? So I realized that none of my elders said that. They said it, but they didn't create, predate the theory. And they were just simply saying that Africa was our homeland, right? But they didn't explain it in terms of evolution. They would always talk bad about it. That's the monkey thing. Matter of fact, they still do it today. Mm. They will say that's the white man doing. But when I'm reading John Jackson, I was like, man, he's not saying that. Right? So watch this. Goes on to say, remember we talked about the cradle and the origin. I'll say, okay, so now they're going to prove that, that, that we are the cradle. The cradle of what? The cradle of humanity and the cradle of history. Right. That answers your question that understanding evolution is understanding African history and understanding African history is understanding black history. And I use the word black for a political statement because Come I'm on. black and I'm proud. Come on. Brother. And I understand what my ancestors went through. No matter what the scientific method is, I have a political stance. Right. That connects me to the struggle that African-Americans went through. To get you to the point where we can get on YouTube and give them this information without getting shot down or hung outside our door. Mm. And if that do happen, our families, if getting proper representation, I say this right, can get money for that situation. Because we come, we there's a time period where you get hung, yo, you get nothing for it. But the police just shoot you down, and that's it. So we are naturally led to inquire. He attested. Where was the birthplace of man? The elders always said Africa, right? In each great region of the world, the living mammals are closely related to 
the extinct species of the same region. It is therefore probable that Africa was formerly inhabited by extinct apes closely aligned to the gorilla and the chimpanzee. And as these two species are now man's nearest allies, see what he's saying? I mean, I'm it with is you. I'm with somewhat you. more probable hmm. that our progenitors lived on the African continent than anywhere else. At this time period, you got uh, Albert Churchwood, and most people got his work, and you got Charles Dawn, the Victorian scientist that's, that's fighting for that. They all in Asia now. Why Asia? Because Asia is where the biblical narrative takes place. Come on, teach. So on. when you hear the Asiatic black man is a theme that the nation of Islam promotes, right? And gods and the nation, nation of gods and earth, right? They promote the Asiatic black man. But that's coming out of the biblical tradition. Because last time I checked, Mount Ararat, um, the Garden of Eden, that's in Asia. That's not in Africa. Read your book, right? Talks about a river that comes out of the garden and goes down into Ethiopia. Okay? But the birthplace of humanity, based off the biblical text, is in Asia. But Charles Darwin, going against his religion, I don't, I, I don't know what example I could give a, a doctor uh, my yacht that would actually make people get the mindset of the people during this time in the 1800s. Mm. Uh, you know, they enslaving uh, millions of Africans based off the color of their skin, mm -hmm. based off of this race concept that they put together that showed that we was uh, we our brains wasn't the same size, the color of our skin made us deficient in every possible way, and we were stuck somewhere down near the bottom of the continent. And everybody, I don't want to say everybody, but most people on planet Earth. Now, I could I could safely say everybody, Doc. I could safely say everybody thought that they came from their tribal creation stories. Now, if you have been touched by the Muslims, right, the Arabs or the Christians or the Jews or the biblical tradition, you were safely fixed in the biblical text in the Garden of Eden. So people actually thought that God reached down and grabbed some dirt and, and man became a living soul in the 1800s. Right, they did. Or somewhere in Asia, if you was trying to get a little slick past that, right? But Darwin changed the whole narrative. He was like, no, 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 no. So he got to go against his whole religious persuasion. He got to go against the whole planet Earth to say no. In the face of scientific racism, this is what scientific racism is wrong at this point, right? He says, those people that you're claiming to be deficient and all that, yeah, actually come from that. Mm. So think about how groundbreaking it was. First of all, you're going against the complete racism of the time that said Thanks. we was, we, 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 don't be your color, Doc, you in trouble. All right, 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 right. Yeah, you're done. You, you, you ain't getting no, you, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you're done. Don't have that same swag. You're not getting nothing. We, we want to keep you from reproducing. We don't mm -hmm, want mm -hmm. that being pushed forward, right? Mm -hmm, and I'd mm -hmm. just like to add in, yo, these Europeans were excellent at domesticating animals. Just for the record, in case you don't think you're an animal, we're absolutely an animal, and Charles Darwin actually proves that in his first work that he writes, The Origin of the Species, right? He doesn't talk about humans on purpose. He talks about all the other species plants and animals on planet earth right and then at the end some way throws in something real quick that later on we will find man's existence right talk about that the, the point i want to stay on right here is during this time period it was groundbreaking to say that people come from africa in the face of racism white supremacy and he was the one that stood up and did that and then proved it and verified it because he went around the whole planet earth mm. at this point i was thoroughly invested in understanding the origins of African history, right? But before you can understand the origin of African history, you got to understand the origins of humanity. And that drug me to evolution. And once I got it, once I got that piece right, I stayed undefeated in the conversations. Mm. Oh, they man, humans jumped out the, the sun. Oh, they came from the dirt. Oh, white people was made over here because of color of their skin. They all over the place, Doc. Watch. Mm. They, listen. If you deny evolution, then the question is, then what? Then could you explain to us, given the same amount of data, data points, 
Uh, same, can, do you have a theory that competes with that? They don't. What they have is tribal stories. Well, if I don't say that, the Egyptians don't say, I know the Egyptians didn't know it. Hell, the Egyptians didn't even know they was in Africa. We act like people in West Africa knew they was in West Africa. Come they on. didn't know they was in Africa, nor did they know they was on a continent. And Come then on. why should they know that? Come on. They, they just didn't. And they didn't even know they was Africans. They thought they was they tribe with their particular name and their culture and their nuance and their survivability in their environment. And they had their enemies. We all have enemies. This, it just is what it is on planet Earth. Resources, food, clothing, and shelter, human beings will fight. Different attitudes, uh, different responses to different environmental changes. And so it was the study of evolution that made me realize right how serious we was see once you realize that everybody is really on the same playing field before colonialism right come on once you realize that we was great as anybody no matter what you say right that 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 europeans had the ability to be wild and then certain europeans had the ability to be caring that certain africans had the uh, ability to be wild and certain africans had the ability to be crazy and criminal and once you realize all that then you can actually sit back and not get tricked by skin color mm. and you can actually make proper decisions and you can actually sit back and be exact and understand who we are and where we come from i talked about knowing where you are that's an important question for humans where are we where do we come from where does our place in the cosmos what is our place on planet earth is it just slavery Mm. no it's not and so that led me to evolution because it's the story of humanity and the story of humanity is the story of african people just diversified all over planet earth different mutations of the original the original from the original of the original that's what i like to say you know what i'm saying throw a little bit of that jane smalls in that for you shout out to jane smalls <laughs> And family, I got to say something. I, I got to give him, you know, I know y'all going to say, oh, Brother Ankh is a man. You want to give him some flowers? Yeah, I want to give Brother Ankh some flowers while he can smell them. Brother Ankh has been studying this for years. Um, Brother Ankh put me on with it. You know, I heard of evolution, but, you know, did I study it in depth? No, no. Did I know much about it? No. Um, did I care to know much about it? No. Okay, but Brother Ankh has been studying, 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 um, evolution and he wrote he helped to write this piece right here family i'm going to show you all now Ankh, this is a children's film i couldn't show you know the common ancestor and man evolving mm. so i do have right. them coming out of the ground look i look let me, <laughs> let me let me let me put my disclaimer on it because i don't want Ankh to see it like oh dr my oh you 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 subscribe to the abrahamic faith and you believe that man came from the mud and the clay and I ain't doing but like but that. look I, I didn't have a, you know, I didn't want to show the common ancestor in the, in the process, right? So, but family, what I'm saying is this, uh, Brother Ankh did help to write this piece. And uh, hold on, let me see the entire screen. He did help family to write this piece. And this is Mel Trek episode three. Family, this is Mel Trek episode three, the opening scene. I give thanks for Brother Ankh because Brother Ankh did helped significantly i was calling him so brother Ankh, explain this to me so brother Ankh, well what about these dates what happened at 160 the ice age so what happened brother Ankh? What, da, 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 da. and what happened what caves da, 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 da. family check this out brother Ankh, look what your work is doing this is your work check it out family approximately 300,000 years ago the first men and women emerged in Africa. These humans produced clans that learned how to make tools, fire, hunt, and cook. Around 160,000 years ago, an ice age occurred that caused ocean levels to drop and droughts in Africa, which forced clans to migrate to Southern Africa in search of resources. Around 100,000 to 60,000 years ago, clans began to migrate out of Africa, which eventually led to the human colonization of the planet. Back in Africa, nations grew and evolved. They developed writing, science, technology, engineering, art, 
mathematics, spiritual systems, and philosophy until the Ma'afa. Brother Ankh. Mm. Do you see you see your work, brother Ankh? Yeah, I see it. I see Pentacle Point. You which is my favorite. Come on, brother Ankh. You, you, you saw Pentacle Point and where they was fishing, they was getting the fish hooks. 13. Come on, brother Ankh. Come on. You saw 13. That's my favorite. That you know what? That separated me from the whole Egyptian conversation. I remember you did a presentation. You remember that presentation? I think that was your first uh pre you did it on a shango bone. Yep. He threw me that piece, though. I always tell people he threw me that piece. But go ahead, brother. Did it on the Shango Bone, and you just show how how culture moved up from the south, but 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 deep south, like man, all the way to Pinnacle Point, which is the southern tip of Africa, where you find the Koi sand and all that down there. And, and the ochre, you show me the red ochre, the red, red ochre, ochre they found down there themselves and all that. Got yeah, all that, so brother. That's all from you. Come on, first shellfish eaters. This is important. Ain't no Kim, ain't no eat, ain't none of that. Right now, just just you know, just just native people doing their thing, surviving. They get they get pushed down because of the ice age. You talk about that, how the the the, the majority of Earth was dry, well, in Africa during ice age, it get droughts. Yeah, so that they had right? to move, they had to relocate. So other places in the ice grip, you're in the drought. You got to find this find this food. You got to find this food, and they and they do find it. They, they they find these grubs, and they become the first shellfish eaters. So they eat shellfish. They learn how to. Manipulate, open them up and crack them. They know they know that when the tides come, right? When high tide and low tide, they know how to figure that out. You know, that, that whole relationship, they get it. Yeah, hey, brother, did, you, did you catch the stone tools and I seen you the saw tools, them writing? You saw them writing the math. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it right there. That's it. Yeah, that's that. That's that right. That's that fire right there. I see the way you threw that up in there. Oh yeah, I yeah. Like yeah. So it, it'll be available to the family that's in the chat. It'll be available sometime in August. Sometime in August, it will be available, you know, and uh, shout out to everybody, you know, who contributed to the project, the information. Um, Brother Ankh, you know, he he contributed a great deal of information to Mel Trek episode three. Um, so did, you know, um, those brothers, the uh, Masi Warrior Clan, uh, which was a research group that Brother Ankh um, founded, actually. And so, you know, the Masi Warrior Clan, they, they did contribute heavily um, to the information um, in the form in in the film, so shout out to those brothers. Um, yeah, you know, shout, out to, shout out to Nahisi, yeah, you Nahisi know, ben, and them, yeah, Ben, yeah, ben, ben, and uh, Kofi, Sean, yeah, all Sean, Kofi, Kofi and all of them, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they contributed heavily. So, the, the, the film will be, be will be available, family, in um, August, and in two weeks, I'm going to launch Mel Trek 365, and so you'll be able to go there, reserve your copy, okay? So, give me about not this Thursday coming, but the following Thursday, Mel, um, the Mel Trek 365.com will be live. And you'll be able to go there, reserve your copy and things of that nature. But go ahead, Brother Unk. Let's jump into the presentation. I know that you had it up. And uh, we kind of, I know I, I just had to ask you, what, you know, what, what, what was your journey? And, and I thank you for explaining that. So basically, Brother Unk, those brothers and sisters at the Shrine of the Black Madonna, Donna, they were kind of already on that that kick. Um, yeah, they was. Say, well, not every, no, no. Okay, just not then, I mean, just a Latoon J, he was on that. Okay, so. But then he would throw some spiritual thing in and mess it all up. But that. The point is, he was on top of just the the whole. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Just, just the, the holistic view, the it. holistic view of it, like you said. Yeah, why you, view. why you, why are you looking at the apes as if you know? The, so the holistic, yeah, of the holistic view of, of us, yeah. of us in nature and stuff like that. So I, I mm -hmm. get, what, I get what you're saying. I get. Yeah, what you're it was saying. important. I think that was important. That, that was my leap forward. We all have a leap forward. Absolutely. And once you understand evolution is a leap, you can't be running around here talking about I want to. We African, we this, we that, I, 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 and then start talking, and then start making white people some separate entity. You you mm -hmm. can't be the mothers and fathers of humanity, right? And then have another set of mothers and fathers. Now, which one is it? If you the mothers of humanity, and you just take your bad children, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if that's the point, you gave rise to some wild children, <laughs> so there had to be some wild in you. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you, sure, I just don't you. be wild. Yeah, you know I mean, you just, it's something you was doing. It made remember, you, remember, anyway. you, remember, you and I were arguing. Remember, we were arguing because mm -hmm. you were calling white folks African. I was like, they ain't African. Oh, we yeah, was going back and forth, and, and he was like, if you don't like them, just say you don't like them. But you can't yeah, just say, say they're not African. <laughs> they're not African. We, I mean, family. When I say that, brother Ankh and I have had some. When I say that we have had some um, 
drag out fights. I'm talking about on the phone, going back and forth. I mean, we had, we'd be mad at each other. And then we call each other. He said, you still mad at me? I said, I'm mad at, you know, so we had our <laughs> knockout fights, but I was fighting him on that. They're not African. They're not African, you know? And he said, but the way science, and you broke that down to me, science would view them as African. Now you talking about culturally okay. and yeah, you talking about culturally and, and politically and socially, you know, you talking about socially, you, yeah. Okay. But you were like, yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to biologically, you was like, you know, yeah, we you know, homo say, you say homo, you say, yeah, we all. <laughs> and so I was mad with you for a little bit, and uh -huh. then, I had to, then I had to eat my humble pie. Uh -huh. I had to, you sent me some stuff, and I had to eat my humble pie. You know, yeah, so now I make a distinction. But now I make a distinction when I say that. When I say they're not African, socially, you know, culturally, you know, uh -huh. we're not, we're not, you know. Uh, um, you know the same. You know we have different cultures and stuff like but that. We, but we, but 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 why should we? And, and there's certain what, what we can say for certain that in Pinnacle Point, they down in that area, there's Bloomblosh Cave, there's Howells Point, there's the it comes together a crucible of human culture, right? Mm. So we give we give rise to symbolic thought. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 160, where they started doing the, the colors, the red okra, the, the separation, the, the imagination, right? So, so this is what we brought to the world. We, we bring the crucible culture to the world. And as we leave out, we mutate in different environments and run, we run across other archaic humans and we mix and we match and we keep moving and we, and we end up here in this position. And then we come back and mix and match again. The whole, the whole uh, homo sapien thing the whole human thing is a thing of 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 of, of mixing and, and and coming together and formulating uh, uh dealing with different environments dealing with the immune system all these things are important you know what i'm saying to form who we are yeah and so people will say well we the 100 percent africans that's that's crazy that's mm -hmm. not that's not that, to be homo sapien sapien is the mix mm -hmm. is the mix and not to get confused with your partner that you may choose. You know, I choose black women. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. saying in the grand scheme of things, whenever, and they did the study with baboons, they're, they're, they're different species of baboons. And whenever they cross ranges, they always mixed. It's called hybridization. They always mixed. There's, there's no, never a time where they don't cross that. So, so you know that that happened in Africa too. Mm. So you, it's a racist mentality. Remember, it was Hitler and them. They said they was the master race. And they had the Olympics. This is World War II. They had the dang Olympics. And they said, we got the master race. We got the blonde hair and the blue eyes. And yeah, we're going to beat the brakes off them niggas. Koji Ch Chagalia, we, we didn't say anything. We I agree with that. We did say he said that. What? What he, he said that. He said, but she can joke in Civilization of Barbarism said race is culture. And Euros and Africans are different culturally. As a result, he oh, he said, oh, he said, and as a result, we are different racially. Yeah, you had no, the Kuchi Chagalia. Yeah, yeah show, send, post the page number. Post the page number and we'll check it out. Brother, I'll go ahead and share your screen. Yeah, he might, need, he may, he might need to pop up later on. And this is going to be a good conversation. Oh, absolutely. Kuchi Chagalia, feel free, brother, to come on in. I'm yeah, going to open up the floor. Up. I'm going to yeah. open up the floor in about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to open up the floor in about, you know, around 8.15-ish. I'm gonna open up the floor, family, and you can come on in and ask Brother Ankh a question, okay? All right, all right. And Brother Coochie Chagalia, get the page number because I got the book behind me. Yeah, and we Brother got, Ankh, I got yeah, two copies. I yeah, got two copies. I mean, I didn't read that thing a zillion yeah. times, and I don't remember him saying it like that. And so, and, and it's all good. Just send us the page number, brother, okay? And right now, family, I want you to send an appreciation donation to Brother Ankh. You know, all of my guests that come on, I ask that you all help me. Help me match. Help match my contribution. Brother Ankh, I want you to check your cash app. Okay. Let me check that. So I'm not asking you all for anything Ooh. that I haven't done myself. Mm. All right? Voila. You know, it's right there, family. Magic. <laughs> Make sure that you, that you do like that. Any guest that comes on my platform and they're giving presentations and all of that, I just ask that you all, you know, try to match me. You know, yeah, try don't to let out do you, family. Me. Don't let <laughs> try to match what I give them, you know, what I give my guest family because this stuff takes time, man. Time yeah. away from your family and, and mm -hmm. other things that you could be doing to generate, you know, resources for yourself and your family. So make sure that you know you show your appreciation by sending a donation, love donation, appreciation donation to Brother Onk at dollar sign 
Arkacat. All right. And you'll see his name, Brother Ark. It'll come right up. All right. So make sure that you look out. Make sure that you look out. All right, Brother Ark. I have your presentation on the screen. All right. Well, let's get started. This music. All right. Here we go. Just to start us off with the Black God. All right. All right. Oh, baby. The black guard got big lips and black bra. In the projects, rich is whipping that black car. My rhymes the same. My skills is whipping that crack hard. Look at LeBron James. The black guard got big lips and black bra. As soon as Oh my fault, man. How did I do that? I about to say you gotta do that over, Unc. I was over here vibing. Oh man, let me let me start. Hold on. Yeah, everybody, you know, shoot, I'm over here bobbing my head and going in, and oh, and the music just cut. Mm. <laughs> I'm experienced now. Oh baby. The black guard got big lips and black bra. In the projects, rich is whipping that black car. My rhymes the same. My skills is whipping that crack hard. Look at LeBron James. The black guard got big lips and black bra. As soon as I leave Earth, it's back to the stars. Right a job. My lives with jewelers and girls. Just ask not to bother the world. Yo, my mental vision setting up intuition. And you really don't have nothing if you intuition. I work with light. Just to give birth to life, I was born in all forms in the perfect night. The black god got big lips and black rods. As soon as I leave Earth, it's back to the star. I am the ruler, just like the line of Judah. My third eye, which feels like an iron computer that's dark matter and deep thought making your heart shatter. I sleepwalk, talking with small chatter, so I don't need you to ride and die with me. I got ancestors that vibe from the other side with me, and they beam up life. After death, we got noses on our eyes to the lights of breath. My priceless flesh, the final copy, look like Anunnaki. The black guard got big lips and black bra. In the projects, rich is whipping that black car. Rhymes the same. My skills is whipping that crack hard. Look at LeBron James. The black guard got big lips and black bra. As soon as I leave Earth, it's back to the stars. Right a job. My lives with jewelers and girls. Just ask not to fire the yo, world. Yo, the black guard got big lips and black bra. In the projects, rich is whipping that black car. My rhymes the same. My skills is whipping that crack hard. Look at LeBron James. That nigga's a black guard. And you wonder why we spit lead. Just the whole reps. Niggas got big heads. Like old Max, way that I'm writing is more than fame. This is the age of enlightenment. We the Moors in Spain. Now that your honor, I pray to a black vagina. Even the Pope pray to the black Madonna. In the sun, I shine as bright as I be. I'm the greatest of all time, like Muhammad Ali. Oh, and when I die, baptized in the fire. Only fly at night, black skies are higher. Pride to jot my lives with jewelers and girls. Just sax nods, if I rule the world, rubies and pearls. The black guard got big lips and black bra. In the projects, rich is whipping that black car. Rhymes the same. My skills is whipping that crack hard. Look at LeBron James. The black guard got big lips and black bra. As soon as I leave Earth, it's back to the stars. Right a job. My lives with jewelers and girls. Just sax nods, if I rule the world. Yo, yo. The black guard, from infinite to infinite stars, it's infinite light. My life's got an infinite charge. The instruments are implemented, give strength to your heart. The temple within, the imprint, mimic the art. Into the dark, the dragon spark, the fathom from a higher consciousness. I talk with atoms, I live in the land, and I live in the stars, original man. I am the image of God, call me Tut, I'm Amen. I cut diamonds, so as long as I live, nothing can stop shining. You gon' need to be in the fence to drive me crazy. Live on CNN, hearing cries from Haiti. You know the people down there trying to hide them babies. The black guards surrounded in light attract stars. The black guards surrounded in light attract stars. The black guards surrounded in light attract stars. I told you, follow my critics. I told you all that I was the greatest of all time.
with the black guard. Wow, and so, Ank, you gotta send me the video. You didn't show me that. Yeah, don't worry about it. You don't gotta worry about that. You don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> no, I'm but, saying I said you didn't send me the link. I don't got the link. Oh, you don't got the link to this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Send me the link. Oh, I seen the link. Okay, okay. we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead though. So yeah, this is this is just a you know, this piece I put together, man, is just, you know, some people I done fought with on this piece. Uh, you know, but they all fight for the struggle, man. Regardless of whether you get along with them or not, man. You know, love and hate what it is, man. I wanted to end uh out of all the people, I wanted to end with Dr. Oyama Yat, man, with that piece she holding in her hand, man. Because she actually did something for the community that the community necessarily wasn't ready for. And she showed her growth and development and not being afraid of white people. Like you could actually do a piece about black people with white people in it. And learning from a college professor and it not tarnish you one bit because this is this is the example. Right. And I just wanted to show because she has been a mainstay in educating people uh, her own kind just right there, right there. So, you know, I just wanted to just give thanks to her and just the work, you know, the work she's been putting in for years, man. And we just got to respect that, man. A lot of people have ran from her won't give her chance in a ring it's just been a it's been a long struggle for all of us man you know but yeah we gotta we gotta find a way to keep promoting these sisters that's that's been way 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 top level you know way top level like like they stand on their own and they stand with the black men but we gotta give them they you know because that's that's where we come from so i just that's that first piece you know just the evolution period i think it's important the religion and all that was in the piece Man, y'all go and rewind the video, man, and y'all get it. So that's where we at, Doc. So, okay. Let's get you the homework now. Y'all know what this presentation is about. All right. Why is evolution so important? Evolution in medicine. Just a little slight piece here. Look a little bit bigger. Pseudo Killers Production, National Academy of Science. Why is evolution so important? It is transformed. The, the, the yeah. video is still on. We should still oh. see the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. And salute to Baba Amin, a Huru Academy is in the building. Peace to Baba Amin. Looking forward to this camp. Looking forward to this camp, Baba. But peace to Uhuru Academy in the building, Baba Amin, and Mama and Koyo. Peace to the family. I see it Shout now, Brother Baba Amin. Shout out to Baba Amin. Why is evolution so important? Evolution in medicine. Little killers production. We're dealing with the National Academy of Science. Now, why is evolution so important? It has transformed science's understanding of the diversity of life on Earth. Evolution provides scientific explanation for why there are so many different kinds of organisms on earth demonstrates why some organisms that look quite different say like the japanese and europeans are in fact related while other organisms that may look similar are only distinctly related accounts for the appearance of humans on earth and reveals our species ancestral biological connection with other living things. Details how different groups of humans who are living today and human-like species that are now extinct are related to each other and how we acquire many of our traits and provides the framework for understanding that suggests pathways for the development of effective new ways to protect ourselves against uh, constantly evolving bacteria and viruses. And I say it all the time, man, where every time you take a breath, you're breathing in trillions of bacteria and viruses. Every time you take a breath. So it's important for our medicines, right, and the way we think, to be evolutionary minded. We live in a world 
with things that are evolving around us and we just went through it in the pandemic now let's get right to it all right you see the change in the uh presentation doc yes it all looked right. like you're getting ready to show a video mm -hmm. all right here we go So you know anthropologists they can actually take bones and stuff like that and and actually see what people would have looked like using clay and things of that nature and measuring the distance all over the whole face they can come up with representations like this so let's move on though i just wanted to kind of just move in a little bit let's get right to it We're looking at Homo habilis. It's the earliest of our ancestors to show a significant increase in brain size and also the first to be found associated with stone tools, 2.3 million to 1.5 million, Old of Old Gorge, Africa. An analysis of a complete 1.8 million year old hominid skull found at the archaeological site, right, of Demisi in Georgia, suggests the earliest Homo sapiens, Homo habilis, Homo rufensis, and so forth, actually belong to the same species. You got to understand this whole study of evolution and the study of ancient uh, uh, fossils and, and matching them up is a serious study. You're just not going to dive in and flim flam it and tweak it out and defeat that. It takes years of study, years of changing these, these fossils in and out, moving them in and out of species, uh, uh, adding this, adding that, learning, now introducing the DNA evidence. Yeah, the study is real. Homo gastar was the first of our ancestors to look more like modern humans, 1.5 to 1.9 million. These people were generally tall and slender and may also have been related, I mean, relatively hairless. Homo erectus, I mean, like upright. Fossils of these short and stocky humans with their distinctive skull shape and large brow ridges have mostly been found in China and in Indonesia, 35,000, 1.6 million. Homo anecessor. This species name is highly debated with many considering the remains to be Homo habitogenesis. Whatever the species they come from, these fossils are the oldest Homo found in Europe. Homo habitogenesis. These humans evolved in Africa but by 500,000 years ago, some populations were in Europe, 300,000 to 600,000. Kenneth and Kenneth. So Kenneth and Kenneth is actually, are uh, these anthropologists, they do the artwork. They, they actually uh, bring these, these, these fossils to life. Uh, beautiful artwork right here, uh, bringing these humans together and and just the hair and, and how uh, uh, authentic it looks 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 real right but they they bring those skulls to life so y'all if y'all get a chance look up kenneth and kenneth look that up 
Homo forensis, one of the most controversial and surprising hominid finds in a century. Okay, conflicting interpretations and debates surrounded the remains of these tiny humans from Indonesia. Homo florensis are not our ancestors, but their unusual features and recent survival suggest our human family tree is more complex than one thought. They even start to talk about how they understood navigation because how else could they get to those islands? They would have to understand uh, how to navigate on some type of craft. So that brings us to now, okay, so are we the smartest? Because that's our name, Homo sapien, knowledgeable man, right? I think we kind of did the same thing. They did the same thing when they did the, the, the Homo sapien sapiens, just the Africans, like they felt like Europeans were smarter. And I think we've done the same thing when it comes to evaluating these fossils. They, they, they think that Homo sapien sapien was the most intelligent, thus the name. But that's not true. They're starting to find out that these ancient humans were just as intelligent. It's y'all favorite here. Homo neanderthalus. Coexisted with modern humans for long periods of time before eventually coming extinct about 28,000 years ago. The African fossils tend to be older than those from Europe. So now, the issue is, did they go extinct? The issue is, did any of them go extinct? I think now what they're realizing is, based off of integration into the gene pool of modern humans, that they didn't actually go extinct. They just kind of disappeared in the genes. Well, not disappeared in genes, but they kind of just added to our gene pool, added to our immune system, added to the mutations needed to survive on planet Earth. But that's a new way of looking at it. African origin, Ethiopia fine, are the earliest Homo sapiens. Homo sapien adult to 190,000 years ago. This is like an archaic Homo sapien right here. They found that in Ethiopia, over the Old Gorge. So we know the Koi San is amongst some of the oldest people on planet. They are the oldest people on planet Earth. So I'm showing you a lot of the ancient humans and you see the skin color because they're surviving in an environment that requires that. So the question is, how is it that these are the oldest homo sapiens right here? But look at their skin color. That could bring us to a whole nother conversation. So these Hubble groups, L, the female line. And you can basically see why the Native American, my fault, the Native American conversation uh, by the people that consider themselves Native American would never win because these Hubble groups, we can see how they leave out of Africa. Now how to get all the way over to North America and South America. We use the tool, the technique uh, called um, molecular clock. Since mutations occur at a constant rate, you can actually go backwards and figure out where it came from. Just like you'll find viruses in North America, you can tell they came from Africa by using molecular clock. McCoy saying, male. And then it's the Hubble group. How the male traversed around the earth. It's all about evolution on planet earth. So I just wanted to kind of bring that piece right there. Um, something real light for you. And I want to, you know, I really want to have a discussion on the piece because it's just, you know, it, it's important for us to start to, um, just kind of understand just what's going on, what it is, what it ain't. Um, and so I'll throw this in again. Um, big up in Africa. I did showing, I want to show you some things in Europe, show you some things in Asia real quick, and then we can get to the question and answer segment. But uh, worldwide here, okay? Uh, West Central Africa, Chad. I want to get I, I want to get to some specifics now. Okay, 
All right. Sahil Pithecus. Oh, hold, let me get this here. All right, wait a minute. Yeah, time range seven. Now I'm going, now I'm taking this out farther. Seven million to seven to six million years ago. Discovered in 2001, location, Western Central Africa. Chad. Now, the reason I show you these things because the oldest such finds are found in Africa as of 2023. Important fact some of the oldest evidence of human like species moving about in upright position, bipedal. All right. Bipedal, my fault. Let's go to East Africa. Tongan Hills, Central Kenya. Oregon. Time range, 6.2 million to 5.8 million years ago, discovered in 2001. Location, East Africa, Tungi Hills, Central Kenya. Fossil description, uh, let's see the upper right of this femur, thigh bone, similar in size to those of other large apes, but the angle part more closely resemble that of modern humans. So these are the bones they got. They got them numbered like that. The, this is the field. Bones. The study of bones. And you know, I always say, man, our ancestors definitely wasn't digging up nothing. They weren't digging it up. They was leaving you there. Okay, but later on as humans progressed, specifically Europeans, right, They because they actually start the field, they, I guess, what was their level of respect? You could say, well, they didn't respect the dead. Maybe, or maybe they respected the dead so much that they wanted to know about where the dead came from. So that's an argument for y'all to go back and forth. R.D. Pithecus. That's one of them R.D.s. Range 5.8, 5.2 million years ago. Year discovered 1997. Where? East Africa. Middle Ashwan Valley, Ethiopia. Okay. Fossil description, hand, foot bones, partial arm bones, clavicle, collarbone, as well as six teeth, which, and a piece of lower jaw bone, call it a mantle, which had cranial that resembled those of later hominids, but they still project beyond the tooth row. Species description uncertain, but likely close to the size of chimpanzees. Wasn't very tall. Arthropithecus remedius. Ah, uh, y'all familiar with this? this? This would be, I believe, Lucy. You know, Doctor Benenum was like uh, Lucy, our ancestor, right? She's not actually our ancestor. But that's what Dr. Ben was talking about. He was just giving you the old, uh, older black woman, right? And we all love Lucy and we agreed with it. Degna called her Degnesh. We agreed with it. <laughs> to this day, people that deny evolution agree with this find. Range 4.4 million years ago. Discovery 1994. Location Eastern Africa, Middle Ashwan, Gona, Ethiopia. Fossil description. Nickname Artie. That's Artie. Scientists recovered the partial skeleton, the foot bone in this skeleton. Indicate that divergent large toe combined with a rigid foot. A good sample of cranium teeth of this species indicate very little difference in size between males and females in the species. So this is Artie. So Artie ain't exactly Lucy. Let me get, let me correct that. That's Artie. So, you know, like Artie, uh, feet could kind of grasp, but it was kind of, it was standing up. And, and Artie actually proves that humans don't come from knuckle walking apes. I'm going to say this again. This particular find, Artie, 
Artigopithecus, right, represents and shows and proves that our species, our genesis homo, did not actually come from knuckle-walking apes. Australopithecus. Time range 4.2 million to 3.9 million years ago. Discovered in 1995, East Africa, Lake Tonga. Takana, my fault. Kenya and the Middle Ashwan, Ethiopia. All right, here we go. Australopithecus afrozensis. This. Let me look. Let me look at the bones. Range 3.8, 3.85 and 2.95 million. 1974, Kenya, East Africa, Tanzania. Nickname Lucy. This is the one. They call it AL. Look it up. AL288-1. Nickname Lucy. Relatively complete fossil skeleton this is what they call degnesh this is what dr ben was talking about right here i got it confused with Artie. this is what dr ben was talking about and those who agree with dr ben that this african woman here because that's exactly how ex he explained it D degnesh in amharic it means marvelous y'all all agreed with it Right now, some of y'all sitting in the chat saying, yeah, we did agree with Degnesh. Yeah, but Degnesh was an orthopithecine. So you can't deny evolution and latch on to Degnesh as being an old woman. You can't do it. Science will make you a walking contradiction. So some of y'all got to make your mind up now. Are you rocking with Dr. Ben? that argued that the name should be an Ethiopian name, because that was his argument, and that the fossils and the artist's rendering of this fossil should be more in this African context. That was his argument. His argument never was whether evolution was a fact and a theory at the same time. It never was his argument. His argument was simple, that the artist's rend rend renditions of these fossils were more European-looking. Didn't make sense. Now, the... The thing I showed y'all early in the other presentation where you've seen these beautiful uh, African-looking people with dark skin, that is more like what Dr. Ben was looking for. He was looking for that. And goodness gracious, the field has moved to that, showing all these ancient hominids in an African context. Very, very interesting. Like I said, science will make you a walking contradiction. Species description had both ape and human characteristics. So watch this. Lucy had a had a what say like a, a kind of like an ape upper body, right? And a human lower thing, lower extremities. And so like the 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 hips were more fashioned for walking upright. Now, monkeys and chimpanzees, yes, they can walk out walk upright, but they're not habitual bipedal. I Meaning they don't habitually walk upright because their back will start hurting and they get go back down on all four legs. But Lucy, the way her 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 hips and stuff were structured, she could walk upright all day long and not a problem. Arms adapted for climbing had both ape and human characteristics. Members of this species had ape-like face portions and brain casings with a small brain and long, strong arms with curved fingers adapted for climbing trees. Hate to say it, but all of y'all listening right now are adapted for climbing trees real, real well. We all climb trees. We had no idea it had something to do with our evolutionary process, did we? Teach, aunt. Teach. Teach. Australopithecus guardian. Time range 2.5 million years ago. Discovery 1990. Once again, East Africa, Middle Ashwan. We finding all these fossils in Africa. That's why we can safely say as of 2023, right, that 
We started in Africa because we got, like Charles Darwin said, he made a scientific prediction. He predicted, based off of uh, uh, finding more ancient apes, right, that this is the birthplace of humanity. Because wherever you find the most ancient of something, that's pretty much where that thing's going to come from. And so I want y'all to take a look at the right side. Look at this fossil. You see that black. Well, the black is not the actual thing they found. That's just uh, uh, like, like a material, like some plastic, right? But the actual bones, what they found, and it's interesting how they put that all together. Maybe I can inspire some of the young babies to go to school for this. Parthogopithecus. 2.7, 2 2.3 million years ago, discovered in 1985, East Africa, Kenya. See that whole diversity of different fossils that they found in East Africa, the Old Road Gorge? Interesting. Freeze. Hold oh, one second, Doc. One second. I got I don't want that. I don't want that animal to start barking. I'm the only one here. Hold on one second. <laughs> I got Get you. Oh, one sec. I oh, got the dog. He said he look, he got the dog. And uh yesterday, this morning, it was funny family. He uh he said, How you called me up? He said, How you think the presentation went? And I said, It went good, Aunt. But I said in the beginning of your presentation, all I heard was bow, 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 right. And um and he started laughing. He was like, yeah, yeah, somebody was at the, at the door. So he he's only one home right now, family. So the dog is probably want to go outside. You know how animals are. They bark, you know, somebody at the door. They want to go outside. And so anyway, he's getting that together because I told him, I said, come on, Uncle. You know, you're giving a presentation. But um, anyway, family, the presentation right now is slamming. I, I'm learning so much. Um I kind of knew the the main, I guess you would say, I don't want to say main fossils, but I know the most, the, the popular ones, right? Like when I was looking at the presentation, I recognized, you know, some of the popular ones. Um, but some of these I've never heard of. Um, I did know about, uh, you know, the Old Oder, Oder, Oder Gorge, which is in like that uh, East Africa, the East African Rift. So like Kenya and Tanzania and that area that they found a lot. But what I love about what he's showing is how you had these fossils that date back millions and millions of years, right, ago, millions and millions of years ago, um, all over Africa, you know, so, so you had some, you know, in, in, in Central Africa, East Africa, and I believe now he's down in South, you know what I mean? And so all over Africa, you see these fossils, you know, that date back to, um, you know, millions of years ago. And it would be interesting just to bring him on to talk about, you know, fossil reconstruction, because you do have a lot of folks um, out of ignorance and also curiosity who will say, um, how do they reconstruct, you know, and that's a whole nother, you know, discussion. And so I'll bring Ankh back to discuss oh, that, you know, no, 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 Ankh, I'm saying for another conversation on, okay. you know, yep. like, like how do scientists, you know, reconstruct these, these fossils, right? They're doing facial reconstruction uh, and, and things of that nature. How do they do it? What's the process? Also, I'll bring him back family to talk about dating, right? Because he mentioned, you know, that these are dated to around and you notice that it's also like, it's always like an interval, right? Uh -huh. Like how do, how do they compute that, you know? What do they use, you know? And so what are the, the dating methods? And so I'll bring him back again, family, to go through those things. But brother, um, please continue and we'll open up the floor. You know what's funny? If if your engine blew up or fell apart and they found one piston, right? Experts at building engines can put that whole engine back together and figure out what pieces will go with it Come based on. off of understanding engines. Come That's on. a little tidbit for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hit them with the tidbit. Get them in the tip bit. Southern Africa. All right. Australopithecus again. Time range 3.3 million to 2.1 million. Looking at the skulls. They discovered 1924. South Africa. Uh, description. Tongue child. A three-year-old child. Okay. Skull which represented the first time researchers saw evidence of early Human upright, two leg walking, female. Homo rudo flensis, East Africa. Mm. It's in the human family.
Time range 1.9 million to 1.8 million years old. Year discovered 1972. East Africa, northern Kenya, possibly northern Tanzania. Fossil description. Species description. Brain case size. 775 cubic centimeters, which is considered was considerably above the upper end of Homo habilis brain case size, but further details currently unknown due to the lack of postcranial fossils. Australopithecus Sadebia 1.977 million to 1.98 million years ago. It was discovered in 2008. Uh, this is, I forget the name of the scientist, but he's the one that also found Homo uh, Nelati. And in this cave, they found it. And then they found like some type of markings over top of it. And then they started to realize that these ancient humans was making symbols and stuff. The whole thing is interesting, man. But this particular fossil right here, description, let's see. It's an Arthropithecus. Sedebi had a level of sexual, let me see, dimorphism similar to that found in modern humans. Hmm. All is in the picture. Homo habilis, you know, that's like a tool maker, right? East and Southern Africa. Time range 2.4 million to 1.5 million years ago. East Africa. This is the first hominid species to show an increase in brain size, human like from the waist down, ape like from the waist up. Parthopithecus boise. I believe this was a nutcracker. Let's see. Eastern Africa. Uh, species description, specialized skull with adaptation to heavy chewing. Yep, nutcracker. Y you know, I can kind of look at these skulls and know what they are. I if y'all can look at that video I did, I'm in the I'm in the museum with the anthropologists and the skulls lined on the table, and we're identifying them. Shout out to Brother Reggie. Adaptation to heavy chewing, flaring cheekbone gave P. Boise a very wide and distinguished shaped face. Kind of age you real quick. Homo habilogenesis. 700,000 to 200,000 years ago. Discovery, 1908. Location, Europe. Possibly Asia, China, Africa. East and Southern. Uh, the first early human fossil ever to be discovered in Africa. Amongst the first species to inhabit Europe, Europe's cold latitude, Homo habitogenesis hunted large animals and built simple shelters from wood and rocks. Uh, notice these older males, uh, worn teeth and huge brow ridges. Homo erectus, again, 1.89 million to 143,000 years ago. See that time range, right? 143,000 years ago. Homo sapiens sapiens approximately 300,000 to 190,000. So they, so they living around the same time period. They're intermingling with each other. Location, Northern, East, Southern Africa, Western Asia. Uh, let's see, fossil description, uh, one of the best uh, preserved skulls of this time period and one of the most striking early human fossils, a mature female skull, early human species, Homo erectus. Let me go back because y'all like this, y'all favorite right here. It's the caveman, right? <laughs> 
The mistake is, is that these are Europeans, modern Europeans. No, it's not. That's a mistake. We got certain people promoting that in the community. You can read the book Iceman Inherited. That was just wrong. Right? We were just wrong. And that's okay to be wrong. Hold up, brother. Right? Brother Kuji Chagalia put it in the chat uh, with Sheik Anti Jope said. Hold on. Right. Yeah, what he he said this was on page. Hold on. He said, uh, he said in Civilization of Barbarism, he says on page 30, Sheik Anti Jope says, in the Anderthal man, the Neanderthal man alone is specifically European. Mm -hmm. he, he said that she can tie joke said that mm -hmm. he said, and I have one, I have more. He said, I can come back. I can come. Yeah, he's right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the right statement. What they got to do with he's talking about because they're in Europe, not, not because they're anatomically modern humans. They not what? Neanderthal what? is not a uh, A A M anatomy, A M A anatomy. A M H, my fault. Right. Anatomic okay. modern humans. Let's look at page 30. Where at? Where we at? Yeah. He said it's on page 30. I don't know I'm where. On page 30. What, what paragraph, brother? It says Neanderthal man. Just look for Neanderthal man. Yeah, I know he misrepresented the, the, the daggone. Yeah, how would he know they was Neanderthal? <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't say on page 30. Let me grab my book. Man, pre okay. Let's say the study of Bitcher Saint. Vassal skull, a new pre Neanderthal recently discovered in northern France. Van der Merch to conclude that Swatzenkamp, I can't even read that, Fontenvard, and all other fossils found in Europe prior to the apparent look prior. What do prior mean? Prior to see, I knew he was gonna fall at your source. Wow. So let me get my book. Hold on. See, Prior see, to see. the appearance of Homo sapiens sapiens about 37,000 years ago. And this region belonged to Neanderthal lineage. They, see, I knew it, man. You tried to trick us, yo. <laughs> trick them, ship. That, they always died. They source, though. You you know, I love to read. And I can read. In my read comprehension, I might stutter do some words and have to sound them out. But I swear my, my comprehension is right there with the best of them. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you messed that up. He's not saying that Neanderthal. Nope. Nope. And it says right here, he's putting up another source. The first inhabitant of your Europe was a migrating black Grimaldi man. They don't use that term in, in anthropology anymore. I'm talking yeah. about Grimaldi Europe. Mm. They don't call it Grimaldi man, but it's in Grimaldi Europe. But go ahead. So All right. he, yeah, so go ahead, go ahead, brother. I'll finish, finish up. I don't, um, yeah, yeah he, we bring him on. We had a good conversation with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll bring him on. I wanted you to finish, though. All right. Let's get up out of here. We're almost done. Indonesia, this is what they say they probably were sailing right here, doing some type of uh, uh, 95,000, 17,000 years ago. They said they were probably just as intelligent as Homo sapiens sapiens location. Uh, Indonesia, Asia. All right. Um, let's see. Skull, partial skeleton that include legs, hands, feet. And pelvis fragment special description early human species who stood approximately three to six inches tall had tiny brains large teeth for their small size uh let me see let me see forward shoulders uh chins uh for so basically what what they actually learned is that <laughs> for some wild reason in evolution whenever you find things on islands they they be miniature like elephants they got the miniature elephants and it has something to do with the with, with with mammals. Mammals actually get smaller on islands, and that's wild. Y'all can look that up. And this is proof positive. Homo sapiens. Let me pan out. Is that a game? Different variety of Homo sapiens. Time range 200,000, 300 years ago to the present location. Evolved in Africa. This is what Charles Darwin said. This is what modern science says. You, if you deny evolution, you deny your existence as humans. Just say, I don't understand it. Ain't got nothing to do with white people. Got all to do with African people. Fossils, description, Cro-Magno, one. So Cro-Magno man, they found in Cro-Magno Europe. 
amongst the first fossils to be recognized and belonging to our own species, Homo sapiens in the Middle Age skeleton species description, the species that you and all other living human beings on this planet belong to today. Yeah, that's what it is. Man, thank y'all, man, for that, man. Um, hope y'all got a better understanding and the importance of evolution. And we will not be misreading Diop's work. <laughs> fire, 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 fire! Um, you were cooking today. Yeah, you were man. cooking today. Mm -hmm. So family, 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 take a moment out. Family, take a moment out. I'm getting ready to put the put the cash app back in here. Well, first of all, let me drop the link. I just dropped the link. All right, I just dropped the link. If you have a question for Brother Ankh, the floor is yours. The floor is yours. So I'm gonna open it up for about 10 or 15 minutes. If no one comes in, Brother Ankh and I are out. They all coming right? in. We're gonna see. I know they coming. Ready they got. I'm getting ready to see. I'm getting ready to see. So it says right here, family, send an appreciation donation to Brother Ankh at dollar sign A N K H. K A K E K. Okay. At dollar sign Anka Ket. So you can send a love donation, appreciation donation there. Brother Ankh gave us some knowledge. He gave us his time. He gave us his energy tonight. Could have been somewhere else, but he was with us. So, family, let's make sure that we donate, that we reciprocate. I know we can't give him exactly back what he gave us, right? But we can give the brother something. So make sure that you send an appreciation donation, love donation to Brother Ankh at dollar sign A K A N K H. K-A-K-E-K. -K -E -K. When it pops up, you'll see Bobby West or Robert West. You'll see that pop up. So you know that it's the right person. Because I know sometimes, family, when you're trying to cash have some folks, you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't look like this person's profile picture. So family, make sure that you donate. And I've already did. I already sent him something. And I ask that you try to match me. Okay? Try to try to match me, family. Try to match me. Make sure that you do. All right? And I dropped it in the chat. Also, the moderators, just they've been dropping it in the chat. And shout out to all the moderators. I saw Sister Juju. I saw Sister Tiffany. Actually, both Tiffany's were in the building. So I saw both Tiffany's in the building. Peace and love. I saw the Queen Mother, a beautiful mind in the building. I see Joel Armstrong, Gideon Black, peace and love. And everyone said your presentation was fire. I saw, yeah, Miss Tiffany and Tiffany. I see both of them. I see Brother Kuji Chagalia said he did not paraphrase. He said he quoted directly and you saying brother Uncle, you can't find it because i can grab my book behind me i'm just i mean why don't he come up let's just have the high level conversation this is what we do let's discuss said, maybe he, we're misreading because you know what that's the worst line of communication let me let y'all know typing in the chat uh texting people everything is always out of context maybe you're not saying what i think you're trying to say so come on let's have the conversation yeah uh, everything but come on we're not even listening to you you're going to screenshot it, take a picture of it, paint it, draw it, everything, but come on. <laughs> yeah, he said he's at a track meet. He said he's at a track meet. So he Boy, said he that's why he can't. focus on his track meet then, because, right, he in and out. Oh, uh, here he's he is. Here it is. He said he's at a youth He's at a youth track meet right now, but he was saying it's on page 30. And it may not be. If oh, you, you, if you Google word, that, no, if you he... Google that, hold on, Brother Ankh. If you Google that, Brother Kuji Chagalia, sometimes no, like, you may say, have. Though. Brother Ankh, hold on. Let me mute you. So, Brother Kuji Chagalia. If you sometimes, and this is what I was getting ready to explain, sometimes like if you Google something or you look at a PDF online of somebody's work, like Brother Ankh has the physical text in his hand. Behind me, I have the physical text in my hand. So sometimes when you, you know, when people create Word documents, PDFs online, and you're trying to find a page number, sometimes it doesn't match the page of the actual physical copy. So Brother Ankh skimmed like, you know, page 30 and he was like, I can't find what you're saying. And it may be that it's on another page, but it may not be page 30 if you if you understand um what I'm saying to you, brother. Brother Uncle Ed, I was just I wanted to get that out. So what was his point though? His initial statement was that Neanderthal was Europeans because they was in Europe. I think Neanderthal so. Neanderthal believe, Europe. I believe so. I believe so. Ask him that. The we'll know. From that statement right there, we'll know. There you go, Kooji Chagali. So answer that question. Are you saying that? you know, Neanderthals are Europeans or what Europeans or Neanderthals. Like, what are you, what are you saying by, you know, pointing out what, what, what Jope said, you know, are you saying that Neanderthals are exclusively Europeans? Are you saying that African people do not have Neanderthal DNA? What, what are you saying, brother? I ain't saying that. Cause they definitely, I know, brother. Yeah. I'm, that's why I, no, I read, brother. That's why I act like, what are you saying? And family right now, and I dropped the link in the chat. 
Come on in if you can. Come on in if you can. Also, family, thumb up the video. Make sure you thumb up the video. Also, share the video. You know the way the YouTube algorithm works. The more you engage it, the more you thumb it up, the more you type in comments, it begins to circulate more. I see Hoghead Cheese is in the building. I don't know who that is. Gideon Black, Al Thomas is in the building. Peace and love to you. Brother Joseph, I see you. 504, top level, I see you. Chef Ron yeah, came through here. Chef, what's up, man? I ain't seen you in a minute. Chef was here. I see Dave B is here. Kev chills. He said he donated. Peace to Kev. Yeah, he's showing some love here. They trying to catch up with you. Not close though. You know, they he, trying. They trying to catch up. They trying, but they ain't, they they getting. They they creeping. They creeping. creeping. Ey Pelly, where you at? Ey Pelly. Ey Pelly creeping. movement. Peace and love to you. They sick. They sixty dollars away from you. They, Are you they, serious? They getting close. Uh oh, y'all. Come you on. Know, cigar. Can you do it? Oh man. So brother Ankh, you know I donated. And Brother Onk said you all are $60 short of, of matching showing me. love, though. Showing I appreciate love. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate I, And that. I appreciate Y'all just don't know how much I appreciate it. Now, I got a little piece maybe right here the same page. So if he's thinking, he didn't answer that. He didn't. They, they, he did. He didn't he's answer. coming in. He's coming in. He said, okay, he, he, okay, so here he is. He said, he said, no, ma'am, no, sir. Hold on. He said, no, ma'am, no, sir. I was stating that the first people in Europe was African. We know and that. Then, yeah, we know that. Okay. That's what I said. And he said, I know that the Neanderthals were African. I don't know about that statement right there. But I don't know about that statement. I don't think they... No. I don't think and then they, he, I don't said, know he said, all phases of man began in Africa. All right. And then he said, I have not been debating. I was supporting. Oh, okay. So he wasn't debating. But I, I would say, you know, that Neanderthals were African. I mean, I... No, they not. I wouldn't yeah, say that. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. But I, but I would agree that um, what did he say? All phases of man began in yeah, and uh, in in Africa. Yeah. And that yeah, that the first people in Europe were African. I agree with those statements. Absolutely, I absolutely agree with those statements. Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. So, well, brother, so what did we miss up at? What did we miss? So brother Kooji, he said he wasn't debating, he was supporting. So he was saying in the chat, he was just like supporting what you were saying by quoting Sheik anti Job's work. That's what he's saying. Oh yeah. All right. Well, yeah, there you yeah. have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, family. So we're waiting for you to come on in. And it seems like some of you aren't coming in. So what I will do is yield to brother Ankh for some hold up, y'all. Can we get up the six the last sixty dollars? Hold on. Let me see. Let me go back up here. Brother Ankh said, you all been showing love, and we appreciate that. We we so appreciate that. Okay, so it says right here, family, you can send an appreciation love donation to Brother Ankh at dollar sign Ankhaket. Okay, dollar sign A-N-K-H-K-A-K-E-K. -K -E -K. All right? And so he's 60. He said, you all, all I ask is that the audience match what I send the guests. And um, is one of you, and it is 40, 50 of y'all, right? It's one of me and 40, 50 of you, right? So you should be able to at least match. <laughs> like if everybody just donated five dollars, ten, you know, five dollars, you'd be able to surpass me, right? So everyone under the sound of my voice, could you take out your cell phones, cash at brother aunt, five dollars, ten dollars, just a love donation to appreciate, you know, just to show your appreciation for the information you got tonight. Okay. Could have been anywhere else, but he chose to be with us. But we do appreciate everybody, every single person who gave appreciate you all definitely like the show subscribe to the show i'm sorry like the show share the show and subscribe to the channel peace of sister juju and brother kuji lot chagali said i made a mistake neanderthal man is exclusively european there you go ah okay all right see i like folks like that brother Ankh. you know what i mean Me like too. when you like when you engage with folks they're like oh my bad you know oh i made a mistake or you know and you, just, you just yeah you just That's own it and you just keep it going yeah, he said I made. Bro, I said his Indian name bro. was real. I said <laughs> I knew his name was definitely was real. What is he saying? I like that. I right, 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 right. Yeah, I appreciate, appreciate it. that. Because you got well, actually, um, there was a a a running theme in our community that that Europeans were Neanderthal, and you can read the book The Ice Man Inherited. They was after talking about Europeans. I mean Neanderthal. And that was supposed to be European. And then they talked about them being in the caves. That's a never running thing, which is wild that Europeans are the cavemen. And I'm telling you, based off the, 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 the study at the highest level, 
that the caves is where your ancestors went and live and a lot of times the cave was a central place to live or it was a place uh it could be like a religious spot for you you know what i'm saying they found uh, a, a religious tradition inside the caves they found some of the oldest writing uh read the article the the, the writings on the wall in caves a lot of symbols symbology for that so you know to say that to throw away the caves yo you throwing away uh, a large swath of African history. All right, and brother, we got our first um, person, and this is going to be our last person. But hold on, family. I want to plug a couple of things first. Family, make sure that if you didn't watch the discussion from last night, make sure you watch it. It was fire. Brother Aunt came on, and he just talked about how ridiculous, right? And, I, and I'm saying ridiculous to people, you know, who are scientifically literate, right? Like, how ridiculous. And brother, I, I muted you for a reason, right? I'll unmute you when I finish making this announcement, okay? All right. And so he made it clear how ridiculous um, believing the, you know, that the earth, believing the notion that the earth was is flat, right? And so brother on came on last night with a very, very powerful, 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 um, some powerful information. And I'm going in here, I'm trying to look for the actual here it is. Let me go to my library. And then let me go. To, yeah, here it is, my videos. I'm going to drop the link in the chat so that you have it. If you missed the discussion last night, all right, if you missed the discussion last night, here it is, get shareable link. Make sure that you click on this link right now. Click on it. So it'll be in your watch or your history, right? And so you can go back in and watch it. And so for those who are watching this in the archive, all you got to do is go back to the channel and make sure that you check out, you know, not only this discussion, but the last discussion. All right, family. And then lastly, make sure, family, that you sign your child up for the UACI Summer STEM Program. So family, I'm telling you, it's going to be a, a, a beautiful experience for, for our babies. Our babies will be exposed to, you know, our contributions to the establishment and expansion of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. And then they're also going to be exposed to cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and machine learning concepts. So family, make sure, make sure that you get your babies enrolled. After Monday, we are not taking any more students. We've almost, we've almost met our quota. Um, I think the last time Baba announced, we only had 30, 30 seats. And um, and uh, Baba had uh, let me know. I think he let it, he made it known online, and he also sent me a spreadsheet. And I, I believe that we only have ten slots. I think less than ten slots at this point. So probably like seven or eight slots left. And and I'm pretty sure that we'll fill them between tonight and Monday. After Monday, the latest is Tuesday. The latest is Tuesday. But after Tuesday, we definitely can't take any more because we're going to send out supplies. We're sending out Google Chrome books. We're also sending out micro bits and, and shirts and all that good stuff. So, you know, just to ensure that every child has, you know, his or her belongings or items before the camp starts on June. I'm sorry, July the 10th. All right. And so make sure that your child enrolls ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. I dropped the link in the chat. All you got to do is click on the link and roll tonight. All right. And we'll worry about you paying later, but make sure that you enroll so we can save you a spot. All right. And so those are my announcements. Those are my announcements. And so now, brother, you have the floor. I'm going to unmute your mic. Brother, extra money. You have the floor. Floor, peace and love to you, brother. Can I ask you, can I ask a question about slavery? When, Go ahead. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Go ahead. Ask your question. When the slaves were born, did they just have one name? And what year did they start picking last names? Thank you. Sound like a trick question, yo. <laughs> you asked me a trick question. Because so let's let looking, me. I've been looking up my family, you know, DNA history. Just to mm -hmm. see what year did they start using that nearest name, and I think yep. it was like 1870. Like, I just want to know more research about the slaves when they born. Did most of them just have one name, and when did they start picking last names? 
And why did they choose white people last name? Uh, cause they were slaves. <laughs> you ain't got no choice. <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm sure they had they name. I'm sure they had. Okay, let me. Don't hold me on this. The first people that came over here, they had their names. No matter how mm -hmm. much a person tried to tell them that they wasn't their name, they're like, what? That ain't my name. This is my name because I know my mother them gave it to me in Africa. Then maybe the next generation, you had the name of the plantation holder and you still had your name because they probably gave them two names. You know, the name that I got from my grandfather from Africa who was directly in slavery, and I'm going to carry that process on. But at a certain point, you just went with the daggone name. I can pretty much figure that out. Like, it's the name. People start thinking, well, let me just keep this name. It's part of what they're going by. It is what it is. It, like in anywhere, just like you, you're very you're, you're interested in knowing, right? Some people was, some people wasn't. At a certain point, that's just that your mother and them start giving you regular old European names at a certain because they wasn't getting it, they wasn't getting a history from Africa. Right, and that's why they call it slavery because that that's not actually presented. That's not you know that's not it. You wasn't even going to school, and you wasn't even learn how to read, let alone understood African history. Slavery actually disconnects you, you know, from who and what you are. That's why it's slavery. It 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 reforms you into the culture that you in. So at a certain process, you know, we was amalgamated into what we is now, and that's why we call these names. So, yeah, I wouldn't know the exact date or time. What's your reason for asking that question? I'm more interested in the reason. What's your what's your actual reason for asking that question? Because I have a weird last name. What is I was it? trying to figure out the origins. And what is I it? Was a, it's Tweet, like Tweety Bird. Oh, actually, oh. Oh, yeah. okay. So what you find out about Tweet? That you found like, Yeah. It's, it come out of Scotland. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So I'm wow. just wondering why did they pick that name? Like they could have picked any name they wanted, right? And then I see a lot of black people that that they could pick a name. They would use the name Freeman. Okay. Yeah, that's all I was wondering. I don't know why they would pick Freeman. <laughs> free man free i don't know what do you want me to say <laughs> i don't know so what i do know is that 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 the black people that's in america now come from africa that i do know that much and that's very detailed put together and yeah that i that that part i do understand and i understand that because i understand that the largest force migration on planet earth occurred between the 1600s and the 1800s that's the that's called the largest forced migration on planet earth that i do know now as for the names you probably could educate me more on these names i have did a little history on my family and it's okay, easier for, for me to go through my mom's side like my mom okay. my grandma i heard my it, that was the easiest way okay. and i did find out that our family was owned by some Quakers. Okay. Yeah, that moved down here. That's it, mm. really. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, keep studying. Studying to show yourself. Improve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love you it. Get rewarded. I love it. I love it, mm -hmm. um. You know what I mean? At first, when he came on, he asked his question. I said, oh, Lord, is this one of these? you know, slavery deniers and, and it wasn't that at all. So I just appreciate his, you know, his curiosity and the fact that he's searching. And so I appreciate the, the, the brother who came mm. on. Anybody okay. else have any questions before we close up? Brother, Unk, do you have any closing words actually? Cause you didn't promote your stuff. Like, you know, all hey, the stuff look, you got going on, man, we over there at the pseudo killers. Um, we over there at the house of consciousness and the community of skeptics. All right. And we doing our thing at the highest levels. We, you know, we putting the brakes on the foolery. Hopefully we can get the discussion together um, post pandemic, you know, the, the general health of the community. Hope we can get that discussion together with some, Absolutely. you know, there was a lot of opinions going on. There was a lot of statements made. There was a lot of beating in the chest by a lot of people. 
And now it's time to let's have a conversation. This is what healthy communities do. They don't just let stuff slide. You don't go through a time, I mean, a very that like historic time in America in world history, right? Because this it was historic. This Absolutely. pandemic. Absolutely. Yeah, it was, yeah, like we went through it. Humanity went through it. We if, if you wasn't afraid, you was a damn fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you was a fool. And you don't go through that and and everybody have an opinion and everybody claiming what's right and what's wrong for black people. You don't go through that and get on the other side, right, and are allowed to stay with those same opinions if the things you say just didn't work out, right? Certain organizations, certain groups of people need to come out and just apologize and say they was wrong. Or if you think you was right, you need to just prove it and verify that they was right and show us how you was right. I know, I know, Doc, the information we put out, we're right. We was right. And we make no bones about that. And we was right because, because we're able to go to work now. <laughs> we're able to be outside now. Yeah, what's the difference between then and now? A vaccine, medicines have been developed by those same companies, those same people, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we know we was right. But I want to hear from the other side that beat their chest. I want to hear from them. What do they have to say? Yeah. We, we had a couple of conversations on this uh, thing with a few people, right? A few different groups, Marcus Garvey groups and all that. Where you at? Let's sit down and have the intelligent conversation. I think it's needed. Absolutely. What's going on, DQ? Oh, man, just tuning in. Um, this is my first time actually coming on over at um, Dr. Maya channel. I want to say um, salute to Dr. Maya. I've been watching you for years. I love what you do. I actually have my son watching what you made for the kids. I love that. Um, appreciate everything you do. And um, Unc, yeah. no, I'm I'm one of Unc soldiers. Everywhere Unc go, I'm there, baby. So, yeah. yeah appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, DQ. I love it. No I love it. Appreciate your words, brother DQ, and just you sliding through, brother. And I appreciate you supporting no the work so so often. Oh, brother, brother Aunt can uh, attest to this. A lot of times, people say I support the work, and he say, "Well, brother, did you did you get one of those shirts that I was selling, or some shoes, or did you buy my book, or did you do this?" No, no, no. But I support what you're doing, sister. I support. And so you know, words are great. You know, words are great. But in order for us to continue to do this work, we need people to support us with more than words, right? Like words and then also, you know, your resources. And so I, I just appreciate that you not only supported me with your words, that you actually supported me with your resources. You know, you said, I got the project, you know, I got it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and that enables, you know, content creators um, to continue to create, you know, when people support, when we have supporters like you. And so, you know, and then you support, you know, Brother Ankh, and that's, you know, that's my guy. You know, so you said I'm one of his soldiers. That that made me feel good. I'm like, yeah, he got some, <laughs> got some soldiers. You know what I mean? So solid brothers. And so appreciate you, Warrior. Appreciate that, DQ. No problem. No problem. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all do what y'all do. I'm going to tune in later on. All right, All man. right. All right. Peace and love. Peace. Yeah, I love folks so yeah, like Doc. that. I yeah, love you know I wrote like this, though. Oh, yeah. Right the chronology. And I remember yeah. you said you were inspired by, um, yeah, you know, yeah, there right you go. Right. There you go. Damn, where is it? Oh, right here. Yeah, I was inspired by Dr. Ben with this. <sighs> Here we go. Yep. This is a companion to it. So I actually wrote a companion to it. And that's how I mean, sometimes certain people resonate with you. With Dr. Ben, the atheist. <laughs> right. A straight up atheist that you was like, well, he resonated with me. No, but uh uh John Henry Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, um, well, Dr. Jackson. Ben, John, John Jackson, John Jackson Hubert, yeah. Hubert Harrison. How is it that all the educators for real? Right. It's non-believers. How, how, how is that? How is that? What? Why? I don't know, but here, get this. Get both of them. Get the chronology of human evolution and then the chronology of the Bible. Yeah, I formatted it just like this. I'm gonna write a part two to it. It's time for the part two to come out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all get that on Amazon. I ain't mad at Amazon. I think I'm gonna get Kofi. Kofi gonna do the second one. We're gonna do. The, I'm gonna do the second one with Kofi. Pass high research. I'm gonna do that with them. Well, that's gonna be. I promised high. him. I promised him. All right, that's gonna be high. If he mess it up, don't mess it up, Kofi. <laughs> 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 but don't, but don't mess it up.
Right. No better than that. Y'all will be fine. Y'all will be nah, fine. Nah, we good, man. That's a good project for me. I've been saying I've been kind of right. I got my outline. I got where I wanted. We got new finds, more fossil finds now. And, you know, yeah, we we going. We going. All right. Yep. How can people reach you, Brother Ankh? Man, you can reach me. Uh, you can hit me up at, at, at pseudokillers at gmail.com. Just like it is, pseudokillers. That's A S pseudo killers, not E R, but A S at gmail.com. You can hit me up there. I'm on Facebook, Unc West. All right. If you come in talking crazy and reckless, I'm going to get you up out of there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, yeah, that's how y'all can get with me. You can catch me on the House of Conscience, Black News 102. I'm running that channel. Right. I'm at the pseudo killers. All right. Y'all tune into that. And, you know, the community of skeptics. That's where you can find me at. We're going to be Love we're going live more often. And you can always catch me beating somebody up in the debate. Suppose we have another debate soon. Somebody, somebody want to take that risk and go against evolution with no way of figuring out humanity. I don't know how they do that. If you're going to take a flat earth debate, have a way to show how the earth is flat. Don't keep asking me a bunch of questions. Don't keep taking away natural phenomenon. The four, you're going to take away one of the four fundamental forces. Crazy. Right, you going how you gonna take away evolution? We seen evolution at work during the pandemic, Doc. We seen that original uh uh the novel SARS CoV 2. We see it split, right? Then we seen we 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 seen different variants, right? All that's what how is it a different variant? How did another variant arise? Well, when 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 the virus got transferred from one person to the next, that represents a different uh ecosystem right so every time it hits and passes on to another human it has potential to evolve and that's how we got these different variants right and as it gets more used to the environment it figures out a way to survive like all living organisms do so this was evolution in real time virus virus is an organism mm. Mm. right but it's an obligant obligant uh interstellar uh, parasite I mean it's obligated to get inside and live off of the cell obligated to it all right that's what it is yeah doc I appreciate you bringing me through I guess one of my brave but they all agree <laughs> he said either, either nobody great or they all agreed and before we get out of here i know i just i said i know i didn't have any any more announcements family i'm going to ghana with insta creations uh, explorations. I'll be in Ghana from March the March the 15th through March the 26th. If you're interested in going with me, if you're interested in going with me, family, you can email NSAA Creation. Here it is. Let her know you want to go to Ghana with Dr. Maat and she's going to ask you for a $500 deposit. All right. And then you can submit your deposit and then pay on it as you go along. And family, you will, let me mute you, my brother. I don't know why I just hurt myself. But family, you pay on it as you go along. And um, this price includes flight. It includes uh, lodging. It includes, uh, you know, admission into all of the places, food, transportation. So, I mean, this is a, and I ain't talking about no janky flights. And brother, I ain't going to call out some names. Some folks in the community, you know, you know, they charging 4000 4500 and they giving you janky, janky flights. You got one and two connections. This is a straight flight there, straight flight back. Some other folks, brother, you know, some other folks, brother, Unc, you know, in the community, I ain't going to say anything, but when they take you to Ghana, the hotels are janky. The hotels are janky, you know, and when I say by janky, you know, you would probably rate them a, a one star, I mean, a two or three star, okay? These hotels are about four and five star hotels owned by Ghanaians, not the Hilton, not the Marriott, but they're owned by Ghanaians. But some people in the, in the community, I'm not going to say any names, brother. Unk, you know these folks. They have you catching one and two flights, two two and three flights to get to Ghana, two or three flights to get back, and the accommodations are janky. Um, this woman right here, Sister Marjorie, uh, she's a, she travels. She goes ahead of the group to make sure that everything is everything. And so, if you want to go to Ghana in style, then you'll go with NS Insa Creations. If you want to be cheap and, you know, spend 37, 38 instead of the 45, you'll be in a janky hotel 
with janky flight accommodations. You know, we, you know, brother, Unc, I think people don't understand that, you know, you pay for what you get at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like you pay for what you get. Some people, when That's you want to cut corners, yeah, you want to cut corners. It is what it is, you know? And so, you know, I enjoy going to Africa with Anthony T. Browder, um, Anthony T. Browder, his, his, his stuff, straight flight over, straight flight back, hotel tours, like his price. He his stuff was his travel his plans were immaculate you know the boat ride you know the admissions the transportation the food was like I I just want to go back for the day going food okay so Anthony T Browder a one I heard he's great you know not I heard I went with him once but he's great I heard that um, Dr Patricia Newton when she used to give tours I had her I heard her tours were actually really really nice tours and great accommodations as well. So I've been hearing great things about her, but then, you know, she transitioned. She became an ancestor in uh, uh, September of 2021. But I heard that her accommodations, the God and also Kimmet were A1. Anthony T. Browder, his, accommodation, his accommodations are A1. Uh, Sister Marjorie Nicole, hers is A1. And I do want to go to Kimmet with Baba Ashwal Kwesi and, uh, and Mary Wa Kwesi. I haven't heard too, I, I've, I heard that a lot of people go and that is great. And so I would want to go over there with him. And I'm pretty sure that his accommodations are, are A1 as well. So anyway, family, I do appreciate you tuning in. Make sure know, that you thumb up the one video. More. One more. Who? One more. Who? Uh, Elite Travel Company. Brother Chill. Uh, he went, went, to, went to Egypt. Uh, oh, that's, that's what's Keisha up. Keisha Johnson and them. Yeah, they top good. notch. Yeah, good, yeah top notch. Good right. Good price. Good price. Good price. Top notch. Good. Juju going. Matter of fact, Juju going. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Yep. And I mentioned, I'm glad that you mentioned one more person. Um, uh, Traverse Culture. Uh, it was a sister I brought on here. And uh, that sister has a company and they go back and forth to Kenya. And as a matter of fact, she wanted me to go with her in December. And I can't, Brother Onk. I mean, I, I'm, I'm taking like six. I didn't, oh, yeah, this year, this year alone, I've been taking, I almost take, I'm, this, I'm going on my fourth vacation soon. Like I take about yeah, six you. vacations. <laughs> so I, I cannot, I can't squeeze in another one. So I am going to oh, go with man. her in July next year, okay. family. All right, and so Traverse Culture, make sure that you you reach out to them. All right, family, and Cab Hit Cab Chill said big ups. He said big ups. But appreciate you, family. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you thumb up the video. Also, share the video, family, and then subscribe to my YouTube channel so that whenever I go live, you will be notified. Peace.